If that if that's normal as what he because he's like really into Alpha Factor Premiere Pro, so I'm sure you will know it. I'm gonna call him. What is up, guys? My name is Alex. It is Saturday, so that means a new Premiere Pro video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to stabilize footage because let's say you are filming with a GoPro camera that has not a stabilizer, which is a really sh you know small camera, so it will catch every single movement that you, you know, that you have. I'm going to show you guys how to make it better and not going to you know completely make it dissolve. I'm just going to show you guys a few methods you can apply. To make it less shaky so let's say i would say let's shoot into the actual video all right guys so as you guys can see we are on um premiere and what i what i'm going to use as an example is as you guys can see i have a little uh gopro footage right here filming this little piece with my gopro because this is going to be an example of you know how to fix you know how to, how to stabilize footage because as you guys can see if i slightly move my hand you will see all the movements so I'm going to show you guys how to fix that actually. So I'm going to apply a few things that can make this more stabilized, like a stabilizer tool and all that around it. So I would say this is going to be the footage I'm going to be using in this video. So Boom, so that's basically what I'm going to use. So as you guys can see at some point, I'm saying and like you will see all the movements, all the movements, like when I shake my hand, with my hand, you will see, as you guys can see right there, with my hand, you will see it's shaking a lot. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fix that. So in order to fix shaky footage, well, you have to import your video, of course. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to click on effects on the left and you see this search bar and you want to you want to type in stabilize. And then you want to pick in this list warp stabilizer. You want to double click on that, and then it is analyzing the background as you can see. So we have to wait, we have to wait a few seconds until it analyzes as you can see. And yeah, I mean this is going to take a few seconds. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'll skip it if it's if it takes too long. I'm going to skip it anyway. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I will see you guys actually when this is over. So this is just like a cooking show. I'm just going to cut back, and when when, I, when I'm back, everything is done. Two thousand years later. Okay, guys. So I don't know why this is taking so long just to apply a stabilizer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call up a friend and ask like, "Yo, is it usual that this takes that if it takes that long?" So I'm going to give him a ring and ask like, "If it that if that's normal?" Ask what he because he's like really into After Effects and Premiere Pro, so I'm sure he will know it. So I'm going to, I'm going to call him and ask you know what that's about, what it is about. So, dang it, dude. Yo, yo, um, I'm recording uh, Premiere Pro right now. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm applying a stabilizer effect onto the clip, and it it's taking way too long. Is that is that normal? I mean, it says analyzing in background step one one yeah, one of two. Of course it's normal. But it Just, takes. It, it depends on the shot. You see, if you have one minute, it takes uh, a lot of time rendering. If you have two minutes, three minutes, you see. So it's normal. You just. Leave it, do something else, and uh, after one, two minutes, it's fixed. Yeah, because I it's just a GoPro footage, like 50 seconds, and I just thought, okay, I'm going to put over it. But I think, like, it's not that, I mean, it's not like 4K or something, so it's not that big of a file. Okay, all right. But, uh... Yeah, just wait a minute or something, and uh, yeah, your footage is finished, you know? Yeah, cool. Well, I'm just going to wait a few more minutes, and I will see how it's going to turn out. All right. Sweet, cool. You. You, you, you. You, you. Okay, so as you guys heard, that was the Lee effect. I've been recording for almost... I've been recording for 13 fucking minutes. Dude, it's 13 minutes for fucking for this, for this tutorial? Well, I'm just gonna wait until I'm cut until when everything is, you know, when, when it's done. Guess I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Okay, guys, it seems that it's finally done. Okay, cool. So let's move on to the actual tutorial. So, now that we have applied the stabilizer to it, we're gonna go ahead and apply, you know, the effect on it. Okay, guys, so the stabilizing got done, and believe it or not, the entire recording till now is freaking 30 minutes. I recorded a half an hour because of this, so <laughs> it takes so fucking long. Now that we have applied the stabilizer to the sample, I put myself, like, you know, at the bottom, because if I, if I would put myself, you know, right there, uh, that's going to be annoying because there's a lot of stuff you guys need to see. So I'm just going to put myself at the bottom, right there, but we have a lot of buttons on the left. So as you guys can see, we have three buttons on the left. Well, basically, the first one is the stabilization is a result. Well, 
You can pick. I would pick also. Click. I, I would pick. I would recommend clicking sm smooth motion for that one. Um, underneath one, the method. Well, this depends on what kind of footage it is and what kind of effects you want to create. So you can choose position. You can also uh, choose position, scale, and rotation, perspective, and subspace warp. Well, what I what I would recommend is using. Well, it, I cannot actually recommend anything because it really depends on what kind of you know what, what you're achieving. But I'm going to pick for this GoPro. I'm going to pick this one. So I'm actually covered on most parts. So let's see how it looks. So as you guys can see right there, the, the, the GoPro is actually pretty pretty still. And then basically. Uh, the, and then at the bottom, and right here you can choose, you know, I don't know why you would pick this, but there are a lot of things you can apply to it. So as you guys can see, we have this one. And it's stabilized pretty, pretty good, as you guys can see. So those are the three main things you want to mess around with. Because you can also like crop it, like stabilize and crop it. Like you can see it's stabilizing with the black bars. You can do that, but I'm just going to recommend using this one, the third one. Or you can use like, you know, the last one. As you guys can see, it's stabilizing right there. And you can also just choose that one. And that looks, should be, that should look also very good. So we're going to wait until it's finished stabilizing. Because there are so many things you can apply to it. And as you guys can see, the camera actually is... It looks like it's almost on a tripod. I don't know. Like you guys, you guys can see how it looks actually. So as you can see right there. So so that is how you stabilize footage, guys. It's really simple though. And now you can go ahead and do that. And if this video went by too fast, don't worry, guys. Just re just rewind the video because you can mess around with the three, you know, the three options until you're happy with it. So that is basically how you stabilize footage, guys. It's that simple. There's nothing more to tell you. So that was the video, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support every single day. And I want to see you guys in two hours for the last Premiere Pro video of today. Make sure to smash the subscribe button down below if you want to see more videos. And also make sure to smash the like button down below if you, if you find this video helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for liking and commenting on this video. And I will say I will see you guys actually in two hours. Welcome back to my channel and today is going to be the day that I'm going to review my new webcam. I got verified on YouTube. Welcome to a new OBS tutorial. So basically we just got off the train. It was like a... We were actually pretty... The train was pretty early but the thing is... Okay, so this is bar. It's the uh, orange one with some... Uh, so uh, without further ado, let's just right into it. And I was sitting here and I created my first account on YouTube. Dubstep kind of thing. Um, and I was like still in my attic upstairs. So that is how you stabilize, you know, video guys. That's it for today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support. And I'm going to like cut this. Fucking oh, I hope you're doing. Oh, God, this looks nice. It's up. Okay, guys. So that was the end. Oh. <sighs> Hoe moeilijk kan het zijn? Hoe moeilijk kan het fucking zijn, jongen? Oké, okay, so that was the video, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you, thank so that was so so that was the video, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support every single day.